Hey, what's going on guys? Butterbar here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Apex Legends. So today is just going to be a fun little commentary. There's a thing I wanted to talk about to you guys just because... <laughs> In this gameplay that you're watching right now, I'm playing with Carnage and his buddy Bud Light. And uh, I, I ran into something. I ran into something as a, you know, just completely out of character for me. I'm, I'm one of those guys that, you know, I strive to go after as many engagements as I possibly can. I strive to get into different conflicts, go against other players, and just try to just have so much chaos in my game and just have a good time. Because at least for me, and from my perspective, I have a lot of fun in Apex Legends when I get into multiple gunfights going towards the victory of the game. And I don't know what it was. Completely out of character for me. I just cannot believe. I just... I became the one thing that I hate the most. I became the one thing that I dread and it's just to me it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. I can't I don't even know if I want to admit it. I don't know if I want to admit to you guys what happened to me, but I I'll do it. I'll do it. I I, I have to you have to know, I think the one thing to being able to achieve greatness is, you know, being able to uh, you know, admit to your flaws and I I, I got to tell you I can't believe I was camping. I cannot believe I am not a camper. I admit you right now. I am not a camper, but god dang it. I got caught camping in this game, and I just, to me, just personally, I don't know how in the world I let myself do this. Now, you're going to watch this gameplay. You're going to watch me going after multiple different teams, and we actually had a good time. Me and Carnage and his buddy definitely had a fun time going after different teams, and that's the one thing. Again, as a player from... Titanfall 2 days to other multiplayer games, you know, going all the way back to college days, playing Modern Warfare and the Modern Warfare series throughout college, into my army career, and now uh, playing, you know, Apex Legends and Titanfall and whatnot. I've just been always that player that has just been really aggressive and going towards all different types of engagements. And I will tell you that I think Titanfall 2 kind of broke me. I, I think Titanfall 2 made me into the gamer that I am today where I just love, dude. I love getting into different conflicts. I love pressing the enemy. I love trying to go after as many kills as possible in a game. And that's exactly the same way that I'm seeing Apex Legends. I'm seeing the exact same thing where I'm like, dude, I want to try to find as many, you know, land me in Skull Town, land me in Artillery. Where's the hot zone at? That is me. I I really want to go towards those areas where I can get into as many conflicts as possible. I might not even win. I will tell you right now, a lot of if you watch my streams, if you get into some of my streams, have the time we get in these hot zones, we get an artillery, skull town, bunker, or something like that. We don't win. Sometimes we don't win. We get aggressive, but sometimes we don't win. However, to me, I find myself having the most fun in this game when I get into those conflicts, get into those hot drops, and find out where, you know, multiple different teams are hiding at, and just go after them. Now, in this gameplay, you are going to see a lot of players that we're going against actually doing the exact same thing that I'm afraid that I had to admit towards the end of this game that I was doing, and that is camping. The one thing that I, I just drives me up a wall, at least from what I've seen in uh, in Apex Legends, is a lot of people take advantage of Caustic, which again, Caustic, you know, if you are some, if you're one of those players that can find an advantage of using Caustic to me, that dude's a thick boy that just, I get you, you are just playing almost at a disadvantage when you're playing a Caustic. However, if you're one of those players that are able to get in a position, hold it down, hunker down, and, you know, keep people from coming to where you're at, Dude, play Caustic, man. Caustic is definitely the camper's paradise of uh, different legends that are in this game because Caustic's by far, his abilities are allowing him to do uh, that camper mentality. And that's maybe the reason why I'm like, oh my god, if I come into a Caustic, you know, if I run into a Caustic, it just drives me up a wall because half the time they are doing the exact same thing where they, they're, you know, they throw that, you know, trap down in front of a door or they kind of post up somewhere and you're just like, dude, I want to come. I want to get you and you are keeping me from getting you you uh, because you're hiding out in this area so okay so right now we are we we are oh my god i got 10 kills man i'm crushing it having a great time doing it we get to bridges and i me courage and bud we're all sitting up in that in that highest you know tree house and we're like dude we're sitting up here for like five minutes we need to do something three teams left they're all hiding out in bridges and this is the one thing that is crazy to me because I'm, I, I, am, I have no problem to admitting to you guys that, yeah, I, dude, I was camping, I was sitting up there, I was trying to figure out where the last team is at, and I know, in this game, it sometimes it actually does benefit you to just kind of take a tactical pause, find out what's going on, find out where the circle's at, kind of listen around to see where gunfire is at, and that I totally understand. Hell, that's something that we did in the army. You just, you know, take a knee, get your bearings, kind of figure out what's going on, take a tactical pause, and just get, you know, get information about what's going on. And that's similar to what we're doing in Apex Legends. I'm getting that tactical information about what's going on in the map and 
Oh my god, I think I think we paused for way too long because these guys got hunkered down way too much. You are going to see me trying to push this the these houses, and they are dude, this caustic, I will tell you right now, this caustic has this house secured, and it's just it's a struggle. It really was. It was a struggle to get in there and try to defeat this caustic because those traps are on the doors. If you kick the doors in, they activate the trap. He's on that second floor where nobody's playing a uh, Pathfinder, so we can't zip line to the second floor we were thinking about trying to do the balloon but the other team there's another team that's actually hiding on top of a roof over here so we have two teams what uh, okay we have two teams one team is separate between the two buildings so w one team has one person in one building and two people in the other the other team the third team is on the rooftop so we're trying to figure out what we want to do in order to actually go after this and to me, I just, I, I couldn't believe it. I could not believe that not only did I become the one thing that I hated, however, we are also fighting the one thing that I absolutely cannot stand. And I, I don't, I don't know if you guys feel the exact same way with me. Anytime that I get into a situation where in Apex Legends, we are trying to go after people that are hiding in a building, I feel like it is the damnedest thing. It is the hardest thing to go after people in these buildings because they do hold it down. There's certain positions in this game where you can hold that down and not have to worry about a team coming in there and trying to get you because of the stairway or because of all the different corners that you have to watch out for as you're breaching this building. And I know at least from Respawn's point of view is that they want to at least give people that, hey, you know what, if you want to you know, post up in here, use Caustic, kind of take a tactical pause like we've been talking about and get your bearings, you can do that in, this, in these houses and be relatively safe for the most part. But we get to the second or the last circle. We all we get all the way to the final circle. I will tell you right now. I will admit it. I have never, ever since this game has fully released, I have never gotten to the final circle. I did not know what it was going to be like. I did not know if what was going on, if we were going to make it. I had no idea if we were actually going to make it in the final circle. I had two heels, a two or three heels to my name. I sure as hell know. I wasn't going to make it because I had no heals. It was going to be almost impossible for me to get it. But somehow we get to the final circle and it's just, to me, I, <laughs> I tried my damnedest. I really did. I tried my hardest. Again, it goes with that aggressive play style that I'm, I'm trying to go after. Even though I did get, get caught camping in this game, it is that aggressive play style that I really strive for going. And it's just, you know, I think it's just more fuel in the fire for me because I'm seeing these players that are doing the play style that I absolutely hate. That I'm like, you know what? I, I got to go after I got to I got to prove to myself. I got to prove a point that I have to go in here and clear this building out even though it might be a caustic and it might be really hard or trying to you know protect my teammates. I have got to do it because I got to prove to myself that I can defeat somebody like that and I'm not going to be a player like this because again, I really do have a lot of enjoyment in this game when I'm aggressive or I'm facing teams that are really aggressive. If if there's an open battle in the open field that two teams are just battling it out neck and neck, those are by far my favorite conflicts in this game. It's by far my favorite ways of going after players because it's almost an even fight. It's an even fight between who can outflank who, who can go after what, what weapons are using, what tactical abilities are using. And to me, I find my most enjoyable time when it comes to the open ground and being able to have uh, it's a semi-fair experience between the two teams. So... To me, oh my god, I, I still, to this day, I cannot believe I was doing this. However, I'm really happy that I was one of those guys that, you know what, I just got fed up and tired that uh, we were dealing with this, and I just wanted to put an end to it. I wanted to put an end. I did not want to deal with this anymore. And I, you know what, I think that's what most players need to do. If you come into this situation, if you come into a situation where, you know what, you know, you got a caustic, you know, set up there, or you got a team, full team in a building, and, uh, and, and you don't think you're going to be able to do it, just do it. Just charge in there, get in there, and you know what? Half the time, they don't probably think that you're going to do it. Right now, I'm using Cloak. I'm getting up there. I'm going to be, dude, I got you, Co I got you, Caustic. You have no idea. You did not expect me to get up there and, and be able to get you, and I will not allow you to revive. So, oh, man, for, for as much fun as I had in this game, even though I was doing the one thing I absolutely hated, it was a fun time. It really made me type, uh, you know, it made me really think about how I wanted to play the game. How? What is the way to win? Because now the only person that's left is this guy that is on the rooftop. And we're getting to the final circle. What? This is the final circle. It's closing in. Four, three, two, one. Now I got to start healing. I got four heals. We got to figure out what's going on. Next circle. This is the last one. The very last one. 20 seconds. 
We have no idea what's going to be happening because this dude has a Kraber. He's on the rooftop. And we're, we're just, it's me and Carnage. We have no idea what is going to be happening. We don't know if we're going to be able to make it. But somehow, I don't know what happened. I don't know how it was. But this dude was taking damage from the circle as it was moving in. And we were able to take away the victory from somebody that was camping up top. I, it just, to me, uh, this to me just drives me up a wall. I cannot stand it. But, hey, you know what? He dropped down. We got the victory. And thank goodness that we were playing tactically we, we took a tactical pause but we were being aggressive and having a good time and that's all that really matters in this game so guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed my little my uh, admitting that i was camping so i apologize about that but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did please drop me a like let me know in the comments below what you drives you guys crazy when you play apex legends so have a great rest of the day guys and i'll see you guys next time <laughs>